Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Um, just fixing the camera here a little bit. There we go. That looks good. Okay. Good morning everybody. Um, I haven't posted anything in a little while. Things have been pretty hectic. We've had illnesses around here and just things like that. You know, just the normal every you know, seasonal family things going on. And I wanted to do a lot of kind of craft with me's and things like that with these journals. But, you know, with everything going on with the family, I just ended up working on them and not doing videos. And so I wanted to do some walk uh, walkthroughs of the finished journals. I did finish them last night and I am super happy with how they turned out. So I wanted to show y'all how they turned out. So that's what we're going to do today. I actually have several uh, projects that um, I have finished, journals that I have finished that I want to um, show y'all. Um, so I'll probably do that in, in a couple of different videos. So, but to get started with today, this is what we're going to look at. So, um, I'll put one of these aside and we'll walk through. Um, and basically, uh, you know, most of the journals that I make, I do sell. Um, so the, um, these will be for sale and I'll put all of the information in the description box below. I am going to start an Etsy shop, but I have not done it yet. So if you're interested in um, in these journals or one of these journals, uh, my email will be in the uh, description box below. So you can just contact me directly. So, um, so let's get started. First, I wanted to show you that along with the journal, uh, what would come with these is um, all of the offcuts from cutting the paper. Um, and then this is so cute and I cannot remember who I saw do this. Um, she did little pouches with scraps in them out of tracing paper. Um, and I just thought that was genius. Now she was using them for Happy Meal. She, um, but I thought when I saw her do them, I thought, what a perfect idea because as you all know, when we create um, journals, we end up with so many scraps and I just like, I have so many scraps, I don't need to keep all my scraps. So I picked out some scraps to just keep for myself, mostly like the itty bitties, you know, that, that come with collaging and stuff. Um, but each journal will come with a pouch of, uh, just scraps um, so you can play with the journal with the papers that I used in them. Um, so let's put those aside. And so I do have um, just the cover here with the fabric spine and the lace. And it has an elastic closure with a button. And you open it up and then on the front inside cover is a pocket with a tag. And then I glued that on three sides. So there's also a journaling card. Um, we have some coffee dyed paper, lace on the edges. This is a fabric pocket that I've just put a cluster on. Inside is a couple of journaling cards. Beautiful coffee dyed paper and music paper. Here we have a fabric flip. Lots of journaling space in these journals. Little buttons on the, I love these little crocheted butterflies. This was actually um, rose water paper that I dyed. And then we have um, just a paper clip. This is paper clip here. Um, and then I have a few just blank things that you can play with. This is a book page envelope clipped in here that I've done nothing to. 
Um, so lots of things. I wanted to make sure there was lots of things to play with. Okay, and here we have a triple pocket um, with just some ephemera that can be journaled on. A tag. All of my tags and things like that can be journaled on the back. Another journaling card. And then I have um, just a flash card that I haven't done anything with, so you can play with that. More of that pretty rose water paper. I'm not sure the camera picks up all of the different um, pinks and purple hues that are that are in this rose water paper. It's just beautiful. Another journaling card with a little charm, beaded charm here on the paper clip. I also curled the edge of that paper clip. I just think it gives it a little something extra. And then we have a beautiful collaged um, envelope that does have a journaling card in it. That's made out of book page. So pretty. Then we have our element that we did in the last videos that I posted. These were from that um, invitation set. So this turns over this way and opens this way. I wanna make sure I'm in frame so you can see all of that. It opens this way, then it opens this way. And um, this has a journaling card in it, but there is two pockets here so you can put more things in it. It closes up that way. This is the middle of the signature. I just love this. It's so pretty, the Eiffel Tower. Then we have the other side of that invitation envelope. Again, there's two pockets here, but I only put a journaling card in one. And that closes that way. And the back is just collaged on. So pretty. I just love collaging. Makes everything look so interesting and pretty. More coffee dyed paper. Here we have a side tuck with a journaling card made out of book page. The other side of that rose water paper. We have another paper clip. This is so cute and I want to tell, uh, show you real quick how I did this charm here on this paper clip. Um, let me show that to you and bring it up a little closer. So you can see that I curled the um, two edges of that paper clip and then I have a bottle cap charm on here. I was at Hobby Lobby the other day. Okay, so I I had these that I got on Amazon. Okay, these were just bottle caps and one inch epoxy, uh, epoxy stickers. Make sure you can see those. I got these on Amazon. Pretty inexpensive and I had gotten them because I did a craft fair um, last December and um, I had planned on making keychains with them. These actually came with the keychain part. And I was going to make keychains for my craft fair that I had last December, but I, I never got around to it. And so they've just been sitting in my stash. And um, I, you know, I had forgotten about them until I went to Hobby Lobby over the weekend. And I was in the sticker section or I think it was the Tim Holtz section, I can't, and I saw this. And it was bottle cap stickers, and they were all vintage, and there's like a ton of them in here. I mean, there's about 200 stickers in here. And so what I did was I just, I, I bought it, of course, and um, because it was the paper studio, everything was half off, so they were like three bucks. And, um, and they fit perfectly inside the bottle cap here. And then I just put the, I glued the sticker in 
because I never trust the glue on the backs of stickers. So I glued it, I glued the sticker on and then just put the, the little epoxy dome sticker on top and wow, what a, a simple project that, I mean, huge impact simple project. So I made like 20 of them in one evening. I have all of these that I put together and made and um, I just love them. They're so cute. And they're perfect for just hanging on a paper clip. Just so it's not just a paper clip, it's something else hanging off of there. Oh, this came off as a little journaling card. A doily. That's a dictionary page. Coffee dyed paper. Oh, this was rose the more of the rose water paper. I have a belly band here with a booklet. And I just created a cardstock cover and this just more journaling space. I like to make sure there's tons of journaling spaces in my journals um, because we put ephemera in there and those are great and pretty and they really spice up our journals and make them very interesting. Um, but I want to make sure that I'm also leaving, it is a journal. So I want to make sure that I'm leaving tons of writing space. So there's a booklet under the belly band music paper, coffee dyed paper. Here we have another pocket with another blank flash card and a tag. And then just the off cut of a receipt paper. You can collage on that or I mean pretty much anything you want. Isn't she cute? She's adorable. <laughs> I love those Tim Holtz people. <laughs> more coffee dyed paper okay and then we're at the back of the book and so Wendy at Wendy's journal adventures did this little kind of envelope flip and I loved it it's perfect for the back of a journal so this flips out here and then this flips out this way and then all three of them I used black instead of because there's a lot of writing space so I just used black inserts for my pockets here because I thought that would be kind of interesting, especially if you wanted to put photos in here or something like that. It just gives it a little something different instead of just coffee dyed paper or white paper. And then I glued it on three sides, so another spot for a journaling card. So that is the um, black and white and pink journal just closes like that. I've got white elastic right there. So that's the black, white, and pink journal. And then the other journal is um, black and white with hints of yellow. So it's pretty much the same thing. Oops. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, just the, um, the accents are yellow instead of pink. So here's the front cover. And the back cover. Same closure. Like I said, it is pretty much the same thing. Don't oh, my puppies have come to say hello. Oh, stop. Hey, move. Okay, so we have a pocket on the inside front cover um, with a tag. And of course, you can journal on the back. And I glued it on three sides, so we have another spot for a journaling card. Lots of journaling space. Oops. Something. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to tear it apart here. <laughs> um, fabric pocket with a cluster on the top and a blank flash card and another journaling card. Aren't those sunflowers pretty? I just love that. Here's the fabric flip for this one. Another butterfly here with buttons. Lots of journaling space. And here's that element that I, um, that from the invitation set um, that I collaged on. And here's how this one looks. Make sure the 
camera got all of that. Did you hear my dog <laughs> growl at me? <laughs> I pushed my chair back to make sure I was in frame and I he was right behind the chair. Let me see if you can pick if it's going to pick up these colors. There we go. Of that rose water. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just love that. My friend just planted roses in her front yard, and I told her, I said, when you uh, go to prune your bushes, save all those roses for me. So here we have another paper clip with a, with a book page envelope that has not been decorated. And a side tuck with another journaling card. A little charm on a paper clip. The book page envelope with the journaling card inside. There's the middle of the book. This is an envelope from the invitation set. Oh, it's got the bottle cap charm on it, see? That one's got a cute little butterfly. Um, these also have a journaling card inside. A journaling card here. Dictionary, here's our three-tiered pocket. little tag here. Another journaling card and flash card. Lots of stuff to play with when you get this home. Here's the other side of that rose water paper. Isn't that gorgeous? I love how those turned out. The other side of the invitation envelope. Again, this has two pockets in it, but I only put something in one. I just think these journals turned out so pretty. Look at that collage on the back. Isn't she cute? She's so cute. Okay, here's the belly band with the booklet. All the coffee dyed paper in it. Pocket with a tag and just some off cut receipts. And here's the back of the book with our envelope flip out and our three and this I didn't pull this out in the last book but this is like the length of the envelope so it's really tall there's a lot of space there and our journaling card on the side and that's it I'm super happy with how these turned out I thought they just turned out so pretty um, I think I've been trying to decide what my next projects will be, and I think I'm going to start a couple of little golden books. I've never done any before, but I think that's what I'm going to do next, because I have a few of those. Okay, so here they are. We have the yellow, black, and white, and the pink, black, and white. And if you're interested in those, like I said, um, I'll leave all the information in the description box below along with my email address. And if you're interested, just um, contact me. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one.